Donald Trump has a long, complicated business relationship with a huge international investment group called Bayrock that is allegedly financed by Russian oligarchs and people connected to or part of the Russian mob. Hashtag bad hombres. Over the years, Trump and Bayrock did several deals in which Trump would license his name and Bayrock would finance hotels that Trump's company would then manage. Trump's dealings with Bayrock are a huge fucking disaster. There's been a whole bunch of lawsuits. The Bayrock partners had to return millions of dollars to prospective buyers. Buildings were foreclosed upon and Trump had to give at least one deposition. How many leases like this have you reviewed in your career? Uh, signed or reviewed? Reviewed. Not too many. I signed hundreds. Much more than that. Uh, but I don't generally review them. I have somebody that, whether it's an executive or in this case, uh, one of my children, um, you know, I rely on people to do these things. A different 2016 lawsuit alleges that Bayrock laundered $250 million for corrupt Russian officials and that President Trump is alleged to have participated in that scheme. Oh, and uh, one of Trump's partners in Bayrock, a former Russian named Felix Sater, spent nine months in a US jail for stabbing a guy in the face with the stem of a broken margarita glass. The victim needed about 100 stitches. Plus, Trump's partner, uh, the former Russian margarita glass dude, uh, he was also an FBI informant on cases of stock fraud and the mob.